Today we're teaching a lesson on simple lead changes. Lead changes are very important for students to begin to understand uh, as they're progressing through their maneuvers, learning their drills, and getting ready to play full field polo. They need to be able to ride with an independent seat and hands as well as identify left and right leads. So you would not even want to put a student into this position of learning simple changes until they're at that point. Uh, of course, a safe school horse that understands these leads and it's not gonna make it too challenging for them the first time that they try these simple lead changes. Simple lead changes are also the building block for the flying lead change. Uh, but today we're gonna focus just on the simple lead change. When we're on the field of polo, leads are super important because we're making sharp turns to the right or to the left. And in certain situations, it's very important for you to be aware of what lead your horse is on. Uh, if you're coming in uh, for a back shot and you, you hit a back shot to the right, you're on your right lead, you hit the back shot to the right, uh, and you're going to check and get back into the play and I'm turning to the left, I need to check and do a flying lead change onto the left lead to go back that direction, right? Does that make sense? So setting your horse up correctly is very important. Before we start with the demonstration, I I'm wanted to talk about the actual aids that you're gonna to use to pick up your leads. So uh, the drill is gonna be picking up your right lead canner, and you're gonna come through the center, and you're gonna ask for trot steps, and then you're gonna pick up your left lead canner. So for your right lead uh, canner departure, your, I want you guys to really think about this. You need um, to have a good communication with the horse's mouth with your hand, right? And you can sit at the point that you're gonna ask for the canter departure. Your right leg is gonna be at the girth, your left leg slightly behind the girth. Your eyes need to look in the direction that you're gonna go. Uh, you can sit on your left hip bone just to shift your weight just a little to open up that right shoulder to encourage that horse to get that, that right lead. Um, just depending on how easy they are to get their leads, and you guys know your own horses, uh, sometimes you need to shorten the reins just a little tiny bit on that, that direction. Sometimes I just take my, spread my reins with my um, index finger and, and kind of take his uh, head a little tiny bit to the inside. Um, and we do use the, the polo seat and we've talked about that before, but the polo seat is your, you're gonna have contact with your thigh and your knee, but your inside of your calf, your lower leg is not on the horse, right? Except for that when you come for that cue. And so when you want that cue, that's when that lower leg's gonna be on it. Now, the only difference is if you have a horse where you need a lot of impulsion and you're just having to use a great deal of leg you know, to push them all the time. But typically, polo ponies are trained without the use of the lower leg when you're actually doing your maneuvers. Um, do you guys want to see me demonstrate? Yes, please. Okay, I will do that. You might have to move off to the, to the left side so we have plenty of room. Would one of you like to do um, take the first stab at doing the uh, the drill? I will. Okay, great, Sarah. Thank you. We're going to move out of the way.
Very nice, Sarah. That was a nice half halt right as you came through the cones. Do you see, see that, Stacy? how she's squeezing with her, her fingers for the, um, to get them to come back down to the trot? And now halt and back up. Excellent. Very good. That was really, really well done with your eyes and your head looking to where the direction you wanted to go. I, I could visibly see your half halt with your hand. It was really, really nicely done. Stacy, would you like to try it? Great. Nice, Stacy. I think the, the only reason he missed that left lead, we spend so much time on our right leads in polo. That's, uh, that's a, a normal thing that happens. And I would say when you're practicing in the field that you'll spend a lot of time um, working on that left lead and maybe some small circles to the, to the left as well. Um, the half halt, which you did perfectly, very important because that's that cue. You're driving, driving the horse into your hand. The half halt and then cue with your legs. It's almost simultaneous, right? That last time that you did it was beautiful. It, it, you didn't even move. And that's exactly what you're trying to, to give that horse confidence that you're not going to fall out of your seat and, you know, pull on his mouth or, you know, um, unbalance him by putting too much weight. And... I think you display that perfectly. So um, this will be something for you to do on your own two or three times a week. You feel comfortable with that? Yeah. Okay, and then if you have any questions, always um, come to me or to your, any of your other um, instructors that you feel comfortable you know, asking for help. Great, good job. Today we worked on our simple lead changes, keeping in mind the rider understanding the natural and artificial aids necessary to exact that maneuver, and also that their ability to recognize the left and right lead and how it applies in the game of polo. This is Chris Bowman from the USPA Certified Polo Instructor Program. Play safe, play smart, play polo.